Hi, I'm Rich Newbold. I'm the Game Director on Jurassic World Evolution 2, and we're here to talk to you about our most captivating and authentic Jurassic World experience yet. Many of us on the game team have grown up with the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movies in our lives. As a child, I watched Jurassic Park in the cinema and I fell in love with the dinosaurs on the screen. And then as an adult watching Jurassic World, it was so exciting. And this is a great opportunity for us to be part of that franchise and work alongside Universal and build upon the universe that they've created in the films, but allow us to use those iconic characters and dinosaurs and craft our own narrative for players to enjoy. To us, the Jurassic World franchise is about capturing that sense of awe and wonder when you see a dinosaur for the first time. And I think that's something really magical about this franchise that we really wanted to bring to Jurassic World Evolution 2. Hi, my name is James Stant, and I'm the Dialogue Manager on Jurassic World Evolution 2. In this dev diary, we're going to show you how we're bringing our authentic experience in two of our game modes, Campaign and Chaos Theory. We're really excited to show you what you can expect. Both the Campaign and the Chaos Theory mode are set in the Jurassic World universe. Jurassic World Evolution 2's Campaign mode is set in the aftermath of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. The dinosaurs are no longer confined to Isla Nublar and are now wild across the United States of America. That freedom is now creating dangerous situations that the player is going to have to handle. I'm Dan Davies, I'm a principal designer on Jurassic World Evolution 2. The players recruited by the government agency who are responsible for tracking down these dinosaurs and safely capturing them. And it's not just about the safety of the people, it's about the safety of the dinosaurs too. The player will be in charge of this initiative working for the Department of Fish and Wildlife as they work alongside iconic franchise characters. We're bringing back characters that players are going to recognise from the Jurassic World movies. Claire Deering and Owen Grady have been hired for their expertise in dealing with dinosaurs in these kinds of situations. They're going to accompany you as you travel around the United States, capturing and containing the dinosaurs now out in the wild. We are so excited to be bringing back some of our own characters. We have Dr. Kajal Dua, Isaac Clement, Cabot Finch and George Lambert. These characters will provide support and guide the player towards success. The player's role in campaign mode is very different to the other modes that we have in the game. Instead of focusing on building theme parks and using the dinosaurs to make as much money as possible, they're now dealing with the dinosaurs that are in the wild across the United States. This involves capturing them and then safely containing them in facilities that the player has built. Hello, my name's Adam Woods and I'm the executive producer on Jurassic World Evolution 2. As you can imagine, the player will face a number of challenges. The dangerous dinosaurs are just the beginning. They will be facing calamities, snowstorms, sandstorms. We are also introducing a number of new injuries and illnesses that can affect the well-being of the dinosaurs, and these will be another obstacle that the player will have to face. This is completely uncharted territory. They're away from the confines of tropical islands, away from the Jurassic World gates. This is completely new, it's bigger, and it's more challenging for the player. Chaos Theory Mode allows players to be a part of the Jurassic World franchise. Alternate timelines explore how key events could have panned out differently now that the player is in a decisive role. The players will experience a what-if scenario from each of the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movies. They'll be in charge of either building a theme park or a facility based on that movie. For example, in the Lost World Jurassic Park scenario, they're going to try to succeed where others have failed and bring the San Diego Park to the masses. Chaos Theory Mode for us was really exciting as developers because it was a great opportunity for us to go back to movies that we've really loved and grown up with and provide players that opportunity to go and experience these what-if scenarios and wish fulfillment of being in those moments from the films as they have their own impact in what's happening in these scenarios. Across both Campaign and Chaos Theory Mode, the player is going to be encountering a large number of prehistoric species. We've worked really hard to ensure the species are authentic to the level or scenario that you're in. For example, you'll be coming face to face with the Indominus Rex in the Jurassic World Chaos Theory scenario. I'm really looking forward to the players enjoying these up close moments with the dinosaurs from the ground level. It really gives a unique and different perspective to the scenarios. I'm very excited to see players experience these new original stories that were crafted in campaign mode and chaos theory mode, seeing dinosaurs in new locations as they work alongside these characters and the stories that we've created. I'm really excited for players to experience these iconic characters in our original story. I'm really excited about the players experiencing the Chaos Theory scenarios and making these iconic movie moments their own, whether it's bringing Jurassic Park San Diego to the masses or building their own version of Jurassic World. Jurassic World stories are so iconic and we are very proud to have created our own to be part of that and we're looking forward to sharing that with you. Olha o 
Linux, this is Block Software. And let's take an analyze of Dev32, which is talk about campaign and casual mode. But also we will see new species and more. So what's this video for from getting till end? Okay, let's skip some more. Maybe like uh, here. This is a great opportunity okay. universe to build upon the university. There you go. Uh, first thing first, let's take a look at this footage of Jurassic Park San Diego. Uh, this must be the Chaos Theory mode where you can be a part of the franchise. Uh, shortly, you will play in alternate timelines and try to bring the scenarios led to success. Uh, Jurassic Park San Diego, for example. Is from the Lost World Jurassic Park, which is failed to happen in the movie, but you have a chance to bring this scenario to successful part in this game. Jurassic Park San Diego, popularized by the, the stadium or Colosseum or whatever you call it, uh, maybe it's for dinosaur or battle arena or else. You can see it, this short clip there, and there is a Jurassic Park Visitor Center too, and multiple small buildings near it. I'm not sure what are they exactly, but I do like the combination of building designs. It had modern design like uh, this, and classic design from Jurassic Park like uh, some building here not sure what building is this uh, I think it's a film gallery uh, also this one I uh, don't know what is it uh, I think it's a toll station or something else if you notice something uh, different on Gas pot there. That is called gas pot, but passed by tow track, and it automatically creates a grossing pot like that. And the background, you can see big cities in the background there. So awesome. Okay, uh, this is a great opportunity to continue. Part of that franchise and work alongside Universe to build upon the. All right, we will see this Corruptor's fighting. Boom. All right, uh, they have the same fighting animation like on the pre-order trailer, Allosaurus vs. Tianosaurus, but there are multiple of or variety of animations, uh, including fighting animation. Uh, you may have seen current tours headbutt animation so totally different from the first game that is only has limited animation and it only do the same animation again and again and they will fight to death by fighting each other repeatedly until one of them has low health then the other will finish it while in the second game as a variety animation so it, it looks realistic and natural and if the dinosaurs win into fight there are a chance or dynamic uh, for the opponent to win or maybe throw but both sides injured same like in J-pop so certain tops can win a fight against a T-Rex or a Spinosaurus loose to a T-Rex. To use those iconic characters in dinosaurs. Okay, now this a Stegosaurus game. Alright, uh, now these are not Mosasaurus. I think they are Tylosaurus, but I also heard it's a uh, Plate Corpus. I don't think that Plate Corpus, they might be looks similar with Tylosaurus, but I think Tylosaurus is much bigger. 
So that must be it. So we can confirm Talosaurus is a new marine species in this game. Okay, uh, again. About capturing that sense of yes, uh, San Diego, when you see first park, and T-Rex. And I think that's... Uh, sorry, I have to skip this. Yeah, you. I know you have seen uh, this, the ferry. Right, so, so the game takes place in United States. And this one is on Arizona. As you can see here, it's on Desert Biome. There are several dinosaurs like Triceratops there, and Stegosaurus, I think. And I think that is uh, Baryonyx because there is a fish feeder there. This campaign mode is set in the oh, that's a lovely uh, Brachiosaurus, man. Fair for it. You can see Triceratops there. That's also for all of us. I'm Dan Davies. I'm it's All right, so for tracking down these dinosaurs. Um, now because dinosaurs are roaming free in the wild, so you are not only to create and incubate dinosaur eggs on a hatchery, but you have to bring the roaming dinosaurs in the wild safety to the park. Like this allosaurus getting sedated. And, and safely capturing transport them to it in closer. The people, it's about the safety of the dinosaurs too. The player will be in charge of this initiative, working for the Department of Fish and Wildlife, as they work alongside iconic franchise characters. Yeah, that's the characters the other. Players are going to recognize the source. Claire Deering and Owen Brady. All right. The program is by Fish and Wildlife to maintain dinosaurs' safety. Who travel around the United States capturing and containing the dinosaurs. Speak a bit. Ah, there you go. We start by here, I think. And that's capturing wild dinos and bring them back to the enclosure. And this, uh, so ranger team are now to check in dinosaur status with a binocular, like this for example. So you need to check every dinosaur to know what they need. All right. Okay, let's uh, see again. Um, We'll be facing calamities, snow okay, see here uh, on campaign mode there are uh, a lot of challenges to face like breakouts, uh, sandstorms, snowstorms, injured and illness. We are also introducing a number of new injuries in All right. That is how injured dinosaur get in a treatment. That too robot's hand spraying something on the dinosaur for the treatment illnesses that can affect the well-being of the dinosaurs. A bit. Right. Here we go. This is completely new. It's All right. Uh, I love the snowstorm. I do love it. But I think it would be cool if uh, the snow can cover up the dinosaur. And there's an animation when dinosaurs shaking their head and body to remove the snow. That will be uh, so cool. Chaos theory mode allows players to be a part of the Jurassic World franchise. Right, back to Jurassic Park San Diego, see two T Rex right there. Differently now that the player is in a decisive role, the players will experience Jurassic World Jurassic. All right. Uh huh. Back to Jurassic Park San Diego. If you notice, there are compies there. See that one here. Yeah. Uh, here for my cursor here. Can I move it? Okay, there. Disappear. And there are two more near the cactus. There, that's one. And the that's the other one. So there are three compass there. And I think uh, that must be Pachycephalosaurus there. 
and see three position from source. All right, let's carry on again. Uh, okay, so we got Jurassic World uh, scenario on Coastal Moon. So, uh, what if Jurassic World be a success part on Isla Nublar? Let's for that. The level of scenario that you're in. For example, there you go. Uh, I love that uh, mountainous uh, in the background there, and hotels there. They're so lovely here. Right. Coming face to face with the Indominus Rex. The hybrid from Jurassic World, the Indominus Rex, returning in this game. Look at this uh, Indominus. It has a very different looking as I remember from the first game. Uh, it has so much details like the scales and wrinkles are more visible. And the head, I think uh, the skull looks more stand out, which is look beautiful. I love this design. All right, so uh, we can summary Talosaurus and Compsognathus are the new species confirmed in this game. Uh, we have seen about campaign and coastal mode and Dominus Rex written in this game. I'm very excited to play this game in the future and see more about the next news and updates. So. What do you guys think so far? Are, are you getting more excited for this game? Share what you thought in the comment below. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a wonderful day and I see you next time. Auf Wiedersehen.